Hello and welcome to the Visionary Leaders podcast live recording. My name is Erin Fugate and I'm one of the founders of the Visionary Leaders community. I am joined with Aisha Harley, Dr. Josie Schmidt, and Ariana Harley, and of course, all of our wonderful community members. Welcome back to the podcast. We took a short break and we are excited to jump into metabolic health with everyone. We will be uh, talking the whole month of October about the concept of metabolic health, specifically how you can match your health span to your lifespan. And we'll be diving into different subjects like hormones, weight management, post viral symptoms and combating those sugar cravings. This is all inspired because doTERRA launched a new product line called MetaPower. And it's a complete system with first the metabolic blend. That's a reformulation of the old slim and sassy. Don't you love the new name so much more? Give us some hearts if you like the new name. It also tastes better and it's it's better at that um, shrinking the fat cells, which we love so much. Then we've got the collagen and NMN drink mix that's called Advantage. And that is giving us all a pep back in our steps. Then we have the assist, that's the mulberry and the berberine capsule that you take with your heaviest meal to help to balance your blood sugars. We'll be learning more about why balanced blood sugar could be the key to anti-aging and staving off some of those scary diseases that can come later in life. So we love this system. Everyone's having great results. I want to share my results with you very quickly. And then I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Josie to give us a good overview of why metabolic health is so important. So I'm 45 years old and I decided to have my kids when I was 40. I have struggled with inflammation and chronic pain almost my whole life. And Coming into doTERRA about 14 years ago, I got my inflammation under control. I even tell the story of how I lost a shoe size when I started using doTERRA products and it was actually inflammation. But having two kids after the age of 40 being hit with a pandemic and my town had a really bad fire and a lot of our buildings burnt down. Luckily my house was saved, but the trauma was intense. So the last two years, I have really struggled with stress and anxiety and weight gain and that inflammation coming back. My wedding ring stopped fitting. So I haven't worn my wedding ring in over two years. And it was making me so sad. I didn't want to have to go get it resized because I already had it resized. And guess what? Just four days on the MetaPower system and my ring is back on. So I'm going to talk more about my story in future episodes but I just wanted to share that really exciting result I've had with MetaPower. So now I'm gonna turn it over to Dr. Josie Schmidt. She's a naturopathic physician living in Portland, Oregon, and she helps us understand the science and really get a good grasp on how these products work on our body. So please take it away, Josie. Thank you, Erin. Hi, everyone. So I know it still is a little nebulous, this idea of metabolic health and what does that mean? So I wanted to just uh, break that down a little bit. And really when we're talking about metabolic health, we are talking about fuel. We're talking about how we take in food and how our body then turns that into the fuel that all our cells need and our body needs to do what we do during the day. That's pretty much metabolic health. So you can see how it's pretty comprehensive in a sense. And if you were to say, what is the main um, bad outcome or disease outcome of imbalanced metabolic health, it would be type two diabetes. So I think we all know someone who has, is struggling with that, has that disease. And there's a whole range of what that can look like and how someone manages it. And at the end of that range, you sort of see that everything in terms of health is up for grabs in, right. In terms of cardiovascular, all of the blood vessels, people at the, at a, at the, 
tail end or more severe end with diabetes have to have their limbs cut off because of vascular issues, um, their eyesight goes, um, blindness. There's all these different things and that start to happen. So why am I bringing this up with this idea of metabolic health? People are like, I don't have that. Well, only we've been hearing these statistics of fewer than 7% of Americans have what's considered good or um, decent metabolic health. Fewer than 7%. That's 93% of Americans have metabolic health that really could use some assistance and help. What does that look like? Well, one of the things we know is that 13 years before type 2 diabetes is actually diagnosed, 13 years minimum before that, there are signs and symptoms and there, and there are um, of insulin resistance and the body moving towards that in a pre-diabetic state. That is a huge percentage of Americans. And when we look at all of the things that we are looking to want to um, maintain, support, and preserve as we are aging and just as we are being full beings, it is things like our cardiovascular health, the number one killer of Americans, right? We want that to be stable and supported in all of our vasculature that is part of that cardiovascular. We want healthy cognition. We want good brains. I don't know if you guys know, but it basically Alzheimer's has been termed type three diabetes. Alzheimer's is really an issue of too much. So I'm gonna get down into what is diabetes. It is too much of, I'm gonna back up before I say what it's too much of, it's too much of blood sugar and sugar ranging around in our bloodstream not being um, properly used and stored. Why is that? So we take in foods and the hormone in our body that takes in and once our foods are broken down into a main building block of sugar, glucose, insulin is the hormone that allows us to use it in our cells, get into the cell so it's used in like yay energy or stored into our fat cells, okay? When we have things that are too sugary, like just plain up sugary, <laughs> like sweets, or too, too simple carbohydrate, the standard American diet, all the white things, pasta, rice, potatoes, pizza, right? Um, French fries, any bun that goes with any burger, <laughs> all of that is broken, all those simple carbohydrates are broken down immediately into sugars, as is alcohol immediately into that same sugar as any sweet. And those start to pile up over time and our body just gets tired. The insulin that we produce and the cells that produce it start to go, hey, I think there's enough. I, I'm too tired. I, I am going, I'm, I'm not going to let you in. That's resistance. That's called insulin resistance. That's the beginning of this process of disease. We're all in that process, everyone, unless you eat really, really specifically. So some of us on this call might not be, but then genetics start to hit in as you get older. Even if you eat really well and exercise, Sometimes genetics just start to work in with that as you age and you cannot store these things as well. So when all of this starts to happen, and let's talk about sleep, what does that have to do with any of this? Well, there's many reasons why people are not sleeping. When you have dysregulated blood sugars, which is what I have been talking about, you also then are waking up at three in the morning with a spike of insulin or a drop of insulin. That's that. If you wake up at three in the morning, you should be suspicious that you have dysregulated blood sugar system. And that is an unbalanced metabolic health. Um, that's one thing. Or if you're for other reasons, not sleeping well, lack of sleep. When I say lack of sleep, I mean six and a half hours versus eight and a half hours. So if you're going on six and a half hours or less, you are one of the people who is being impacted with insulin resistance. That's a major cause of insulin resistance is just that level 
of sleep disruption. So why am I, I know, I'm sorry, I'd be a Debbie Downer, I'm going to move on, right? So that is what we're talking about, and it affects all of us. So when we now have tools like this, where we have the metabolic blend and we have the assist, what those are geared towards is working with our cravings and our system and our body to bring down the insulin surges, that spike, so we keep it nice and level and even and help us in this process of not progressing towards dysregulation. So we really want to do that. And then we have this collagen powder. The collagen powder has NAD and NADH. These are, people said, how do we, how do we simply describe these? They are uh, coenzymes that are in our body that are in every single cell and they have to do the same thing with energy. And some people in a, you know, kind of off the cuff way have turned them the fountain of youth um, uh, molecules in the sense that they have everything to do with all of this metabolic health and us feeling like we have more energy, we can sleep better, we have better cognition, less brain fog, and getting that whole metabolic engine of our metabolism going. And these are in very exciting and cutting edge supplements to be adding in with that. And all together, this gets you to a place where you're basically, you know, when you have like a lawnmower or a motorcycle, an old one, or we had an old um, chainsaw and it was one of those old ones. And my partner, Chris, he could not get it started, right? It's like, <clears throat> you try, <laughs> it's like if you ever have those old lawn mowers and you're pulling and you're pulling on the string, that's a dysregulated metabolic system. With this whole thing, what I'm feeling, so in myself, is all of a sudden, instead of like, oh, I can't get it going, ah, it's kind of sluggish, oh, I'm feeling foggy, I have a lot of brain fog, all of a sudden you're like, boom, I feel the fire in my belly and in my metabolism. I wanted to break something down, and we'll do this in future talks about, this is something to think on, the difference between hunger, appetite, and cravings. This all comes into play with an unhealthy and a healthy metabolic health. In a healthy metabolic system, I am, my hunger is coming back. It's a physical, physiologic hunger. That's that revving system is like up and running. But at the same time, with all of the other things, my cravings for crappy stuff, for food that does not serve me, that is unhealthy for me. It's just beautiful. It, those cravings are, and my appetite for them are down. So it's, ha you're having the, uh, uh, an increased hunger for what is good for you and a decreased appetite and cravings for what is not serving you. And that is one of the biggest things I am noticing, uh, in this system, along with I would say about 50% relief of my brain fog. So my cognitive function, which has been a big issue for me in my journey and my skin, I'm like, oh my God, it's feeling like butter. So that's the collagen. I haven't even talked about how fabulous uh, and what makes this collagen different. Maybe we'll talk about that in other ones. Erin, do we? Um, yeah, do you think it's a good time for us to take some questions in the chat or even some people who want to read out some questions. Yeah. Have yeah, you been something that people are, mm -hmm. if you have something you've been wondering about metabolic health or the meta power system, or if you've been taking it and you've had a cool experience, could you put it in the chat and we'll read a few out I, and maybe while we're waiting. Yeah. I have something I forgot to say, yeah. which I think is really important for people to take in because they're just getting to know like this insulin thing and this, like, well, how does it all, you know, put together when our insulin is high and our insulin is high. If we're, we're eating too many sugars and alcohols and simple carbohydrates, um, high insulin blocks your ability to burn fat. So people are wondering, once your insulin gets high, it stays high. Even if you're changing your diet for quite a while, it can get kind of dysregulated. That's what we're talking about. 
And so a lot of us in middle age and peri post menopause, we start to see that, wait a minute, I'm, I used to, you know, I was exercising and I have a good diet, but I have this belly fat. Why is that? Part of that is hormonal, but there's a interrelationship between our hormones and our insulin and our insulin, when it's high, we can't take what's stored in our fat cells and begin to burn it. We need to bring our insulin to a low consistent level without spiking all the time to be able to get into good fat burning mode. Yeah, so interesting. So that's one of the things I left out in my testimony, which is I have been, had a hard time letting go postpartum weight. I probably was about 20 or 30 pounds over um, my ideal weight. And I was beginning to feel that in my pelvic floor and my feet and my knees. And, um, in the first two weeks on MetaPower, I dropped 12 pounds, which I also think was water retention. And what's interesting now is I've evened out. I'm not dropping any more weight. So mm-hmm. it's like, Josie, is that your body kind of knows what needs to be done with the metabolic balance? Exactly. I think there's everyone who is starting to take this, we're really sort of saying, hey, especially in those first two weeks. And there's also a lot of this idea of you can go slow. We call it low and slow. Start with one product at a time and see how your body works with that. Or if you're starting with all three, just take a smaller dose, a half packet, right? You can you can get gentle. Um, some people who have been doing a lot of cleansing, who have a lot of things, they already take the LLV, like Aaron, right? Who has a very healthy diet, who has a, a healthy exercise regime, all of that in place. She went a little higher for an initial loading dose, uh, especially uh, with the ingredients of, that are in the collagen powder with that NAD and NADH. So she did that and she was in a very healthy and appropriate place to, to do that. And the body was, it responded basically. That's what you're saying. Like it, there was a beautiful metabolic response. There was, there's also, a, a, I'm going to say a lot of us having a little bit of detox and gut turnover. And that is wonderful. Like Erin is now having a lot more frequent BMs. A lot of people are where that's a welcome thing. That's always a good sign. That is your body coming into balance. And I know a lot of us are feeling a lot more. Um, and I think Ariana is going to speak about this a lot more balance in our interior, our mental, emotional state. And that with what I've just said, can you see how that makes sense with the relationship with um, all of these, with insulin and cortisol, as your insulin is going down, your cortisol is going to go down. Cortisol is your stress hormone. You can't fat burn with cortisol either. And so the more we have high cortisol, the more you're, you're not going to be sleeping well, then you have that insulin resistant. It's all connected. And so if these, if we're helping to really balance our insulin, our cortisol is going to come in tow and the rest of our hormones are going to have a a balancing effect. So I, I just love that as well as we're seeing all these downstream effects very quickly that goes into how absorbable this collagen powder is. So there's all these, all these other nutrients and incredible cofactors that they have put. I just want to read the list. We love like everything that's in the advantage powder, because it's pretty phenomenal without even the collagen, (laughs) but then this 70% tripeptide collagen of nine different forms of collagen, this is unheard of and unseen on the market. And it is bioavailable in a crazy way. And I believe this is a huge piece of why we are all seeing such strong results so quickly. Do we have time for two questions and then we can move Uh, on to Ariana? Is that okay? Okay. Okay, There's are some great testimonies in the chat, just people going on walks and their knees don't hurt. Sandra is saying that she's lost rolls of fat around her lower rib cage and she has improved posture. Um, So really cool stuff. A couple of great questions. We'll take two. One is, are there any contraindications 
for other supplements? Like if you're adding meta power to your routine, are there any supplements that you need to take out of your routine that we know of yet? I will um, say as uh, Josie's yeah. thinking on that, I will <laughs> say I'm starting to look at maybe I don't need some other supplements. There's some, I don't need as much. Yeah. yeah. I am not taking exactly as much deep blue polyphenol and turmeric. I still take, uh, two deep blues and one turmeric a day, but even on more than that, no, um, that connection to our, the cartilage and all of our joints and just an inflammation, right? So there's the collagen with the cartilage and joints, and then the inflammation with the whole system, with how everything, uh, interplays is we see such kind of pain reduction in, in so many of us contraindications, not immediately. Uh, doTERRA has not put out any for people who are already, I, I, so this would be a good time to bring up. Let's say it's the same thing that we have been working with for 10 years now with essential oils. So good natural medicine and other, um, allopathic medicines and how you deal with that. It's the exact same issue. So people who are already on um, glucose and insulin things for diabetes related uh, it, the circumstances, right? If they're in, already there, how you would want to work with this is that first, there's someone who is self-selecting in that they might, they're already on a medication, but they would like to work with natural medicine to broaden their whole health. And the idea is, you know, they're spending some money on that. Hopefully you want to do that and see a result. I would think, I would hope so. So the resultant of your health increasing is if you have a dysregulated blood sugar and insulin system, you want to see that regulating. The process of regulating would by de facto definition mean that you might need less of an outside medicine, pharmaceutical to that is, that is lowering something that's high. If it's naturally less high and it's coming into balance, you don't need as much of that. So that's something to talk with people about and that they will want to work with their doctors, tell them that they're working with something they're excited about. And anyone in that situation is it's great because they're already have some kind of mechanism to closely monitor their blood sugar. So they get to monitor that. The thing that you're worried about is that their blood sugar would go too low. I'm not that worried about that. Like they would, you know, using that you want them to start low and slow. So start with one assist with their largest carbohydrate meal. If they're doing that, I don't think they're going, you're going to find big trouble. As we go on, I think certain people are going to use more assist. And that's when you just, you want to be, you know, noticing your blood sugars, things like that. Um, for non-diabetic people, does anyone have anything that they're, they're thinking of that's coming up? So there's one in the chat. Um, and it is, I have Graves disease in remission due to medication. I think because I'm leveling out due to medications and feeling more of the subtle needs my body is calling out for definitely feel my metabolism is in a wacky place. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is an appropriate course of action for me? That's a tough one. I don't know with Graves, you know, so Graves is hyperthyroid. It's much, much less common than hypo. I think a hypothyroid situation, yes, this would be great. Um, I think it depends on how active yours is. And again, I think it's it's something where it, it is worthwhile to trial. I would definitely buy one, a kit, and start very low and slow. One thing at a time, I'd start with the collagen powder and I would take half a packet and, and just be slow with that and really watch all of your symptoms that, you know, and yourself. It's really good to point out that there's no harm in starting slow. Yeah. Like, I know it's exciting. We want to take the whole thing, 
but half a packet, see how it feels. There's some common things that some people are reporting. Like some people get tired with the collagen. And if that's the case, take it at night or in the afternoon. Some people don't get tired, so they take it in the morning. Um, and then there's the little bit of that detox reaction. So I feel like there's some normal. What Jessica Travis said something great. She's like, you can't have it both ways. You can't have a powerful, smart supplement line and not yeah. expect powerful results. So, right. And powerful results is like, it took a while for our body to get dysregulated. And this is real foundational shifting. This, I call this transformation. And so everything is affected. Like, and that's, you, you want that, right? You want a whole body transformation. So, yeah. Well, I think this is a great time for us to move on to Ariana. Ariana Harley is a new admin of this call. So first let's give her a bunch of love. She's helping mm -hmm. us put on these calls now. So appreciative. And Ariana is going to share her testimony with us and tell us about our really exciting plans for October. So thank you, Dr. Josie and Ariana, take it away. Yeah. So thank you. I think this is such a great conversation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I want to start off by talking about what I've experienced with MetaPower. Um, one, I love that we are identifying that we are all bio-individual. And then I love how we are all linked to, there's this beautiful thing about being human where it's like, wow, I have my own individual and then I have a thread of being so human I can relate to other people. So in my journey, I wanted to, I really, I think it was Gabrielle um, who mentioned, um, forgive me, Gabrielle, I don't remember your words, but I really related to what you were saying, which is getting more in tune with my body and its messages. So if anyone can relate, I am highly, highly, highly sensitive um, when I was a child, what I learned to do before I even was conscious of it was to turn off my body's messages, um, which was like, this is all too much. And so what that looks like and what I'm talking about is I learned to not eat when I was stressed, to go until like three o'clock and not have any food all day because I'm working and I'm busy and I'm just not thinking about it. And I'm not even noticing that my body's communicating, hey, I'm hungry. Hey, I'm hungry. And then by the time I eat, you know, I grab whatever, some sugar, just I'm desperate, you know, I'm starving. It's like, I got to eat right now. And I don't make the best food choices often because they're in desperation. And so what I have been experiencing with the meta power is this is a very old, old habit I've been working on for years. I've had the conscious awareness of it. And yet I was still sometimes having, I love that, um, that metaphor of getting like a lawn or any kind like a chainsaw turned on. I was thinking of a car turning over, you know, you're putting the, the key in the engine and you're trying to get it to turn over. So what I was, what I've been noticing is that I am able to hear what my body is telling me and actually not just intellectually understand it. Like that's a good idea. I should do that, but here it is. And I still haven't had breakfast, right? Wow. It's actually like I'm putting the action into place. It's like, I'm hungry. I'm going to go make a healthy food choice. I'm tired. I'm going to turn on, off Netflix and go to bed. I know that sounds so simple. This is a, a subtle and not so subtle thing, but it's absolutely changed my life. One example of that is I started taking the MetaPower Advantage packets at convention. When I got home, we woke up for at 4 a.m. for a flight for 10 years or more. If I traveled, was at convention all week, came home, woke up at 4 a.m., I would be toast. I would have to schedule days to recover. I'm um, just absolutely intense chronic fatigue. I cleaned the house for nine hours. I thought I was going to have to have a nap. I was blown away. So those are just some small stories that I have. So what I've been dealing with, and if you, if any of you are dealing with this, I highly invite you to, to try the meta power. I'd love to hear your experiences. I have post um, viral um, symptoms 
And what those look like for me is a lot of brain fog and a lot of chronic fatigue and a lot of anxiety. I've been a person also who's suffered from anxiety in my entire life. I, it took me a while to even notice this, but I'm just like, I just feel happy. I feel content. I feel like it's okay. Even in high stress days, there's a shift in the way I'm meeting the world, which feels really great. And so I really feel like this was the missing piece. And I'm so glad, Josie, that you met, you mentioned stress because that was a huge thing that I understood. We hear it all the time, reduce your stress, reduce your stress, right? And yet I wasn't putting it together, the metabolic health equation with my stress factor and really understanding what was happening every time I'm skipping meals and then grabbing high sugar, sugar, high carb options, even if they seem somewhat healthy um, to compensate because I'm really hungry and now I need to eat. Um, and that amount of stress on my body has been throwing off everything. So, so um, I hope I've been clear on what I'm experiencing, but just for clarity's sake, it's been energy number one that I've noticed. Then I noticed um, a lack of anxiety, which I will take 100%, and a tuning into my body and my natural rhythms, which has been really huge. I also suffer from um, joint pain. I'm hypermobile, and that started very early for me in my early 30s. And so I have been in less pain, and I have been noticing I naturally take less deep blue polyphenols and turmeric, which I could not go without because of my pain levels. Um, I'm still taking them, but I don't need as much, which is awesome. And so all of these things, it's just, it's changing my life. I'm able to show up for my daughter. I'm able to show up for my business. And to be honest, for the past two years, I've had a lot of health problems and I have really been suffering in all areas of my life because of the pain, the fatigue and the mental fog. So um, I'm blown away. I am. I feel like this is a huge gift. I'm super excited. And I'm just looking at my notes. Did I forget anything that, oh, and the last thing I really wanted to mention is two things I notice, I drink a lot of jasmine tea, if you notice, or I mean, if you know me, I just love tea. It's comforting for me. I am learning to drink more water. I've had the intellectual knowledge for a very long time. I've been in our community for a very long time. I still was struggling to drink enough water. The meta power is reminding me. So if you're getting those detox symptoms, I know this sounds so simple, but really check your water intake. I was noticing days that I started to get a headache I was like, oh, I have not been drinking enough water. So super simple. Just start drinking more water if that happens. The other thing that I have to speak of is I really notice the difference the days that I take my lifelong vitality and the days that I don't. And so I think of it as, because I'm a, a layman in this area of explanation of, of the complexity of the metabolic system. I really think of it like when I think of my LLV, I think of the gasoline in my car. And I when I think of the... Um, meta power system and especially the advantage i think of like the fuel injector right so i was taking the lifelong vitality but i feel like i was having a hard time getting the fuel to the engine and the whole system and we know we can't run a car on an empty tank again or on an empty tank right so that pairing has been really 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 important and the meta power is working for me but on the days i don't take my llv it's not working as well so just a little bit of sharing on that level. Um, and then I want to invite everyone, we are going to start a 30-day Meta Power Challenge. And I would love to hear, how is this working for you? Are you going to do it with us? What does your life look like before and after? I invite you to take photos of yourself if you want to, just to see, do you know any visible changes? Um, I am going to take them. I confess I wanted to take photos at convention. I didn't do it. I dived into the meta power and I got to get my photos. I wish I had some when I started because I can already feel differences. But our challenge um, is going to start on October 10th. And right now we're just giving you time to order the system. So it is available. 
Um, so please get your order in. That will give you a little time for the shipping if you don't have it already. I also highly suggest taking your lifelong vitality pack now, drinking a lot of water. If you have terazyme, taking that because this is cleansing out our, our system. I am having more BMs, which is really good, but there's a little detox happening, right? So why not preemptively get that detox uh, process going a little bit and then bring in the meta power. Um, and then we will be guiding and connecting you all month. Um, please um, participate on our essential wellness um, Facebook page as well. We're going to be sharing information there. I would love to hear, hey, what are you experiencing? Or do you have questions? Or do you have tips? Um, one last thing I'll share is that for the advantage, I have a cup or glass that's about this big. And I like to put an ice cube in it. And I find that really nice way to, and to take it. I do take mine in the morning. I feel energized. I took it before this call. It reminds me to have breakfast. My stomach was rumbling as I'm talking to you. And I'm like, yep, need my breakfast after my meta power. Um, and then we already mentioned, but if, it, if you find that it makes you sleepy, it does not do that to me. Um, then of course, take it at night. But I'm a person that in my system, I feel energy from it. So that's what I have to share. I hope you can type in the chat if you're going to join us on the challenge. I would love to hear who wants to participate. Thank and you. And I think that's it. And then I was going to hand it over to my sister, Aisha Harley, and she is going to share a little bit about what she's been experiencing with the Meta Power and, um, and how to order your kit as well, if, you know, any details on that. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much, Ariana. Well, I, as everyone else, as you can tell on this call, are just super stoked. <laughs> I think all, like, we're so excited. I definitely have felt in my body that this is the missing link to my health. Many of you know that I am a Lyme disease um, survivor. I've been in remission for years. My health has come so far from taking the essential oils and the LLV, but you know, there's always the things. And this system is really the thing that I feel is really making all the difference um, for me. And I want to just share a few of the things that I'm experiencing. One thing that Ariana touched on, I believe Aaron touched on is actually overall mood. We all collectively have been traumatized. You know, this last few years has been really hard. So there's been like the collective trauma. There's been so many individual traumas and life challenges. Unfortunately, I went through a COVID divorce and really had a total mental, emotional breakdown over these last couple of years, have struggled with a massive amount of anxiety and depression. And just from taking this meta power, I've, you know, I've been taking, I don't know that I would have survived without the adaptive, the LLV and all the tools that we've had, but the meta power has really made a shift in my overall mood, my sense of purpose, my sense of excitement for life again, just my accent, uh, excitement for just feeling alive and like I'm ready to take my next steps. And this was something that we heard a lot of at convention, hearing all the other leaders that had been taking it for 30 plus days, really talking about how their mood was improved. So yes, the the clearer skin, the firmer skin, the the weight loss, the clear mental focus, um, the more energy, losing a little bit of weight. I mean, love all of these side effects, but I'm also incredibly grateful for feeling a better sense of well-being and a better mood. I've also had a pain in my thumb for like three years, like an arthritic pain from using my phone that has not gone away and only gets worse. It's so bad. I'm unable to like twist anything off a, you know, a cap. And that pain is now, I would say 95% gone. Um, I just woke up one day and I was on a call with Aaron and Josie and I was like, wait, I think the pain is gone in my thumb. Um, and also sleeping better. I've also lost a little bit of uh, weight around my belly that that kind of stubborn menopausal weight. 
Um, so I'm thrilled and I'm actually getting on an airplane for Europe tomorrow. And I feel confident that this is going to help dramatically with jet lag. So I will report back, but I'm really hoping it's going to help me transition after that long, horrible plane ride. That's the part of traveling that is so difficult. So we're excited to hear all of your results. And as I think you're all getting a sense for, take it slow be mindful that sometimes you might feel a little worse before you feel better. And also you have to give it time and be consistent. So these are all really, really important things. And as Ariana already said, make sure and order your convention kit now so you will get the products and you can be ready to start the Meta Power with us this week. Um, if you are not on the LLV and you're open to start taking that, that's really going to help prep your body. Um, I know some people on the chat have said they're taking other things. So just make sure to do what you can to prep your body to get ready for our Meta Power Week and our Meta Power Challenge. You'll see on the Essential Wellness page, there are some posts already. We'll be doing some education about the LLV this week. So if that's something that you're not familiar with, you can stay tuned there. And then um, keep tuning into this call because every week this month, we are going to be talking about different aspects of MetaPower. So yeah, after this call, if you've not ordered your kit, make sure and get that done. And I'm going to pass the call on over to Erin. Thanks, Aisha. Thanks for sharing your story. And we're going to miss you. We'll probably see Aisha on the call sometimes, but she's going to go have a great trip. So we appreciate you and we hope you have an awesome adventure. I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Josie to just give us some clarity. Oh, oh thanks, Erin. I know, and Erin has some, some great tips on nutrition and some stuff to finish up with, but I just wanted to clarify, we're calling it a 30-day challenge but technically it's the month of October. So that's the 30 days. Um, we are giving people this first week to order their kit. You might have, you might want to, I would suggest choosing the, at least the 999, not the free shipping from doTERRA, but at least the 999 or even the one above to make sure you get your kit by Friday or Saturday. Um, and we are starting taking the supplements next Monday on our call. But the challenge is running through October. So what are you doing this first week? Erin's going to talk a little bit about that. Getting your nutrition ready, taking your LLV, getting your body ready. So this is what we call a prep week. It's still part of the challenge. There's great stuff on. So what, what the challenge is going to be here through, you're going to be coming to the calls every Monday or listening to the podcast, listening to us through October. And then on the Essential Wellness Facebook uh, page is where you're going to be seeing it populated with things about the challenge and some more dialogue going on. So please visit there uh, through this week for tips about LLV and the prep week. Thanks, Josie. And I put a link to the Essential Wellness Facebook group in the chat on Facebook and Zoom, and we will have it in the show notes if you're listening to the podcast. So I have been geeking out about blood sugar balancing nutrition. And I would love to share it with you because it's something you can start right now, even if you don't have the meta power. And it's been really helpful for me to have this understanding. Um, and I just love eating this way. So one aspect is to, to understand the connection between carbohydrates and fiber as it pertains to blood sugar glucose balance. You want to do your best to have the grams of fiber as compared to the grams of carbohydrates pretty matched. So an example would be looking at your package and if something has seven grams of carbohydrates, you want it to have about five grams of fiber. Now, not everything does, right? So beans are a good example of something that does. Beans are really good for blood sugar balance. But if you decide to have um, something like white potato, right? That is going to spike your blood sugar a little bit, but one of the ways you can balance it out is by getting a bunch of fiber in your diet. So doTERRA has a great fiber powder, which I take twice a day with the greens. So you can be drinking that fiber with your meal when you eat the carbohydrates. 
You're also going to want to make sure you have enough protein in your meals. And I never ate enough protein. Just know that it's, you probably need more than you're eating. So a, an, an idea of a really great balanced breakfast, lunch, and dinner um, that I'm going to share with you would look something like this. Scrambled eggs with either beans as additional protein or uh, some kind of meat. I like to do ground turkey or ground pork and then a bunch of vegetables. Onions are really, really great for you. So a lot of onions, some chard, some mushrooms. And then even with those eggs and those vegetables and the protein, there's not a lot of carbohydrates in that meal. So you wanna find a way to bring in some carbohydrates. I love to do buckwheat because it has a, a lot of fiber. Um, and then you can add healthy fats to that, like your butter or your coconut milk. So that can be a great breakfast. A great lunch could be mashed sweet potatoes, chicken breast, and some sauteed cauliflower. The cauliflower is going to give you a ton of fiber. You're going to get all that protein from the chicken and sweet potatoes are not as um, spiking to your glucose. Now, dinner time is a really, really important meal because like Dr. Josie was saying, we don't want our blood sugar to spike in the middle of the night. So you want to try to go to bed eating a meal that balances your blood sugar. So that would mean if you are going to have sweets, have them after lunch instead of at dinner. And if you are going to have a sweet, take a 30 minute walk after you do, it'll help balance your blood sugar, but try to avoid the dessert at dinner have the dessert at lunch instead. So dinner could be um, something like grilled salmon, quinoa, and grilled zucchini. Of course, with butter or olive oil or something to bring in those healthy fats, throw some avocado on there for healthy fats, eat a couple of macadamia nuts. So these are just examples of how you can make really healthy blood sugar balancing meals and remember to use that fiber. Um, if you want to experiment with intermittent fasting, that can also be a great way to extend health span, lifespan, help with glucose management. There's a lot of research on it. So you can go and dig into what they're showing it can um, do for you. I, I like to start out easy with that. So my goal personally, it works for my lifestyle is to stop eating after dinner. So about seven o'clock, no snacking. And that's a habit to break, right? But that's a great habit to break. I eat dinner and then kitchen is closed for the rest of the night. I could have a cup of tea, maybe if I need something in my mouth. And then I try to not eat until 10 a.m. Um, but you kind of have to see what, what works for your body and your system. So those are some of the nutrition tips that uh, I'm using that I'm feeling really good about and they're helping. And it's something we can talk about in the Facebook group. Haley Jones is on our team and she's also really great with the nutrition piece. And if anybody needs ideas for meals, we can post pictures and stuff like that. Anything you want to add, Dr. Josie, to the nutrition piece that I missed? Um. It's so hard with, that was a wonderful tips, Erin. It's so hard with nutrition as um, we are all so individual, right? Like a post-menopausal woman who isn't exercising vigorously would not want to eat that much. So that's like Erin has two babies <laughs> and she exercises during the day. So those are like three big meals. Um, so it's just start, you know, part of it, but those are all good, healthy options, unless you already know you have glucose issues. If you already have glucose issues, basically uh, sweet potato is a dessert as are like vegetables like cauliflower and most beans, any white beans, pinto beans, they even have too much carbohydrates. So it kind of, it, it can really vary according to who you are and where you are, where you need to be, where your level of concern is and what you're working with. Um, and so I just wanted to show, like throw those things in there with it, depending on, right. Cause I know there are, um, some of us who are in our older years and it's, um, 
your metabolism starts to go down post-menopause. And so revving it back up with this system is a little confusing and that's okay. And to know that and know that you'll be working. That's why I kind of wanted to say, start considering as we're working into this the next week, this concept between actual physical hunger cravings and appetite. And with, if you're used to a downgraded post-menopausal uh, metabolic system and you start to get hungrier again, what does that look like? And luckily you aren't hungry for, you know, things that are unhealthy, but you probably, that's what I'm, what I'm noticing as Ariana was speaking about is um, I usually don't have as much an appetite. And so I'm in that like menopausal state, I'm noticing that I need to eat more. And I, and that has been in, one of my issues is low blood sugar and eating enough. Um, it's not that common. I mean, it is common for some of us women um, where you just get so busy and you just stop kind of like eating enough and you're running around like, you know, the, the post moms and the moms. So note that's something to think about too, is um, bringing in back to your systems of feeding yourself healthy and bringing more food back in that is serving you in a way. So Aaron was speaking to that with those good foods. And so I'm working with that. I'm having to um, bring back in more eating in a more healthy way because I had been eating not, and I think Ariana spoke to this, not enough. And, um, and then having low blood sugar and then turning to unhealthy foods. So it's really, really uh, all encompassing and reteaching, you know, me to get back into much better habits. Yeah. I just wanted to speak to that for a second, um, that link to anxiety, which I know we're in a mental health crisis right now, and I don't want to oversimplify, but I was just not putting it together, my ang- waves of anxiety coming from literally just having blood sugar drops. Like it was just like this aha moment, like, wow, <laughs> it's simple. I intellectually could understand it, but the actual experience was just so powerful. So it's just a simple thing we can shift, right? And then the last thing I wanted to say is I would also encourage people to keep a journal because sometimes we forget when we start feeling better, we forget what it was like when we didn't feel good. So I think like the photos are great and just a journal, even if you just want to keep that for yourself, if you want to share it, awesome, but you don't have to. But like check in when, if you're going to join us in this 30 day challenge, like let's all check in in 30 days and say, how is my life different? Is it different? What have I noticed? How am I feeling in my body? Um, Because again, yeah, when I start feeling better, I'm like, oh yeah, I had chronic pain or, oh yeah, I would have to like, my life is profoundly different than it was even the summer because of my chronic fatigue. Um, So yeah, keep a journal. Oh, yes. Yes. I know you wanted to say something, Erin. I'm going to, I'm going to, one of my quirks people know is that I, I wish I had a stake in uh, vital choice in the sardine company. So I love to do infomercials on sardines, which I think are the perfect food. And I happen to um, really dislike the taste of them. My body loves them as the perfect fuel. And what I've been finding is I'm not kidding y'all. Um, I've been having sardines every, I usually don't eat until, uh, way later do I've been doing a lot of intermittent fasting and I don't eat until like 11 or noon. And I've been really respecting my body's desire now to want to eat earlier. I'm getting up earlier. And so around nine o'clock in the morning, the last three mornings, I've been eating my sardines. I still don't enjoy them, but, um, Right. Aaron's laughing. I still enjoy them, but I'm like doing it. Whereas before the concept is like, I know these are great and everything. I wasn't eating them and now I'm eating them and it's just so great. It's cause like I eat a whole thing and I'm done and I have this great, you know, I have some uh, avocado, avocado and sardines with breakfast with other stuff and the fiber powder. And it's great. So it's really interesting how this is helping us all get into the healthier habits that we conceptually, like I was, you know, knowing we should do and want to do. And this definitely links with exercise too, for people. Um, and all of a sudden it's easier to do them. Yeah. Yeah. 
good tips. I put a podcast in the chat. That's really, really good. It's by Dr. Casey. She owns a glucose, continuous glucose monitoring company. Mm -hmm. And she talks a lot about um, blood sugar balance and all the things we've been talking about. So if you want more, that's a great podcast. And we want to make sure that you also know that you can bring um, friends on this journey with you. So if you would like to invite somebody to come and do the 30 day challenge to have a metabolic reset, there's some simple, easy ways we have for you to do that. We have a Facebook group that's called wellness simplified. And the whole point of this Facebook group is to educate people who are interested in a metabolic reset, interested in meta power in a very simple way. You add them to the Facebook group. And then you tag them in a 10 minute video that's at the top. And then you follow up with them in messenger. And if they want to get the kit, you can make a custom link from your doTERRA back office. If you don't know how to do that, just ask the person who got you started with doTERRA, they will help you. And it's a very simple way to educate them about the product and get them their kit. And then you can invite them to these Monday calls and to join essential wellness. If you have someone who is not on Facebook, because there are people who aren't on Facebook, we totally understand that, we have the videos on our website. So you could send the person to the website to watch the video and then follow up with them in chat or on the phone or an email and find out what they think and if they would like to get their MetaPower kit and you want them to order their meta power kit soon, right? So they can come do the 30 day challenge with us. We will probably do more of these challenges. And so this can be an ongoing, really easy way for you to share with people. So next week, let's make sure everybody knows what we're talking about next week. We have, oh, I'm looking in the wrong place for my notes. I am so, so sorry. Just a second. Here we go. Okay, so next week we're going to be talking about hormones and weight. So, you know, read between the lines, hormones, perimenopause, menopause, just hormone imbalance. A lot of people are saying that their period comes and they don't even realize it's coming because their normal uh, trigger symptoms are gone. So we're going to talk about that. And then there are some people who are losing weight and there are some people who aren't. So we're going to talk about the whole weight loss concept here. This isn't necessarily a weight loss system, but if that's what a metabolic reset is for you, you could experience weight loss. So we hope you come back next Monday and thank you, Aisha and Ariana and Josie for everything you contributed. And we will talk to you next time.